Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and I can't do this properly. There we go. <laughs> welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back today to a replay by me. And for once, I'm not going to suck massively. Woo! Woo! Go Max! Woo! Um, yeah, a little bit of a spoiler, but at the same time, not so much. Um, and today we are playing in the ISM, one of the, uh, well, the newer tier 8, um, Russian heavy tank. And before you all start bitching and moaning about you've seen the title and you, uh, or you've watched the game and, oh, but you were in a tier 8 tank in a tier 6 game, wah, wah, wah. just shut up. Seriously, bored of it. It's a good game, chill. You think it's so easy, you go do it. Um, so yeah, we are in a tier, uh, uh, in the ISM in a tier 6 game, 357 matchmaking, and I really, really like this tank. Um, I think this tank is really, really good, and I think a lot of people do underrate this tank. I, I think people don't think it's that good, and I have no idea where that shot went. Um, it's got 122mm gun, pretty standard for... Um, for uh, uh, tier 8 heavy tank, Russian heavy tank especially, uh, 390 average damage, packs a huge punch, 390, uh, was it 212mm penetration which is on the low side but it's not so bad considering that it's the 122mm D25T which meant that they could have e quite easily have given it 175 and that would have really sucked pick up our first kill there on the amx 12t and so far you've kind of seen the armor work this tank obviously having a rear mounted turret is actually very very good at side scraping um if you get it right you get it right it's really good I'm trying to wait for the cheeks of the fernand here not quite obviously weak spot the fernand m6 comes out need to kill him he was actually being a bit of a nuisance to me i think he penned me once or twice he penned me once but still 240 damage nothing to Nothing to shy away from, there's still a considerable amount of damage. But yeah, you can see me here side scraping out. Weak spot on the far side of the Ferdinand. He bounces off of me, puts one straight into my tracks. And this tank actually hasn't got that bad of a rate of fire either, which is something that, being a 122mm gun, is quite nice. We bounce again, bounce the Ferdinand off our sides. T34 bounces. This thing, when side scraping, is an absolute beast. As I'm tracked, and I had the shell in the in, in the pipe, I thought, you know, may as well get rid of it. No point holding on to it. So we fire one into the Cheeto. Continue to move around. Go for the tracks to T34. Nice shot into the T34. And already we are up to 3,000 damage and three kills. Uh, T34, yeah, T34 first. Then we'll go for the Tiger. Put one into the Tiger, finish him off. And my team finishes off the um, Tiger one. The ICU on my team finishes off the Tiger 1. We're so far up to 4 kills. Panther takes a hit. Don't mind if I do. Up to 5. The ARL actually penetrates me there because I was uh, turned sideways onto him. And I've got to kind of be careful of this thing. We can clearly see that he's using the um, the 90mm gun. Which does have 212mm of penetration. Which is nothing, obviously, to snarl at. We put a nice one into him. And that's the thing with this tank. You just... It's kind of like a lot of people are comparing it, and I think quite sensibly comparing it to a um, the VKB, the VK4502B, and that's because yeah, it kind of is. It's got a decent gun, decent punch, good armor, turret mounted at the back, but the side armor, uh, unless you're side scraping, the side armor kind of does suck. Can I get shot into the Type 62? Just clutch fire it. Goes over the de the wreck of my um. Over the wreck of my M6 friend there. And nice 445 roll into the Type 62. And I think this was already the best game that I've had in the ISM. But we are not done yet. Not by a long shot. I'm on 5 kills. 5 tanks left alive on the enemy team. What can we do? And I've been I, I've been wanting to put a video up on this tank for ages. Because I feel like I've been... I've, um, I've really been enjoying playing through this thing, but I haven't put any videos up on it, and I haven't kind of given it any rec recognition, but now it's kind of like, oh yeah. Um, so, I've actually run out of APCR rounds here, and oh god, we take a hit from the Egg Panther 2, puts us down to, what's that, 
144 hit points, so all he has to do again is sneeze on me. We finish off the um, Hummel, who just killed our T37 friend. Up to 7 kills. Can we pick up our Radley Walters? Where is this GW? Come on. It's kind of... This is a bad situation because the aim time on this tank isn't great. And you know, artillery's like snap showing. He fires at me. I don't know if that was blind. Yeah, it must have been blind. And we finish him off. I was just praying there not to have a low roll because I thought this panther might be coming back down this flank. Coming to see where, where, where I am. Like, coming back down here. So, yeah, it's 13... 13-11, our tank, uh, our team is four tanks to two up, but we are not finished yet. The Panther obviously has got very good penetration for a tier 7 medium. If he catches my side, I'm dead. The Prima Victoria has got very good penetration for a tier 8 medium at 226. So again, he can go through my lower plate. Probably one of the only weaknesses on this tank. And our team is capping. I'm heading back now towards my base because I'm... Oh, my, my, what I always say is you can't lose if you defend your own base. You can't lose to cap if you defend your own base. Whereas if you go for the cap, you can always still lose. And the Panther finishes off the T3485 who was capping. The KV85 looks like he's kind of going in. See what he can do. But yeah, I'm not out of the woods yet. Okay, KV85 is still a one shot. There, um, I, obviously we've got an FE304 who's a good player, but it's still an every 3 or 4 so you know it's not exactly going to do a lot these days it's not as good as it used to be and i'm only on a one shot for both tanks and both tanks can pen me the panther more if he gets my side on my rear and the uh, prima victoria especially if he's firing apcr can most certainly pen me pretty much everywhere and there is the prima victoria oh come on max come on come on come on you see me backing up here i'm not angling for a shot first thing i need to do is sort my armor out because I can't risk him getting a shot into me. He fires one, and unfortunately my shot goes low, but fortunately, well, fortunately and for unfortunately, the panther gets spotted, so at least I know where he is, and I know he's not coming behind me. Have a cheeky look at the panther. He's on 26 hit points. I want to try and get that guy out. I want to try and make this a two versus one, just so I don't have to constantly worry about where that panther is. I can just get him out of the game. I do something kind of ballsy here. I feel like he's going to be moving. I just go in full sideways around the corner. That was actually probably a mistake. I should have angled for the shot. But at the same time, I wanted to get him out as quick as I can and try and surprise him. And I think that's what kind of what he was expecting me to do, was kind of be more passive, make sure I've got my armor set up somewhere as opposed to just charging in and killing him, which obviously caught him by surprise. Up to nine kills. If we can get this Prima Victoria... That's it, Paul's medal, but we're still in a very bad situation, and I get spotted. I'm presuming the only way I can get spotted there is if um, he spotted me over there, but he was actually running away, and can I get shot in as he moves? And then I see him stop. I thought he was just going to run all the way down, but obviously as he stopped, it means he's not. Max, you've got your armor in a horrible angle, and he fires at me, and I think that either bounced off the upper plate or bounced off a very well-angled lower plate, and you can see here, he doesn't really disguised the fact very well that he was kind of going around around that corner unless he's duking me he's now duking back and if he came up i would have been buggered and looked like a right idiot but yeah he d he didn't kind of disguise so i kind of feel like he's gonna come over this side i feel i felt like here he was he was gonna try and draw me out by starting to cap and the fe304 decides to start to go to cap now, what I did there is I didn't stop on this corner just here. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but just here. Because I th thought that the Prima Victoria is going to come here. He's still going to be expecting me to be in this area. So if I am over here and I can get across here safely, because obviously he didn't disguise the fact he was going around the corner, I knew that I could get across in plenty enough time. And me to be across here meant that I thought I'd be able to surprise him. I did not, however, expect him to come from there. Quick turn in the armour, just as he fires, means he bounces off my side, and that puts him down to 452 hit points within one-shot range, but it is very unlikely that I'm going to one-shot him, because that's like plus, what's that, plus 20% or higher, something like that? I'm not so good at quick maths. Where is he? Can I get another shot in? Come on! Oh, my shot goes into the dirt! And I did actually, I'm firing APCR now, this is something that I was going to mention earlier on. I am firing APCR now, but I didn't fire APCR on this tank until all of my AP had gone. And there he is. Where is he? Oh, 
Oh, he just got unspotted just before I could take the shot. In hindsight, looking back at this replay, I feel like I should have taken a blind shot at him there. Because, I mean, I've still got four HG rounds. It's not like... On the healthy zone with 122mm HG, I could probably just kill him to death with HG. And I'd still have two APCR rounds left. But, he's just... He's going to be in these bushes somewhere. He, I don't think he can escape because the camera rating is not that good. That I don't think he can get across this area here without getting spotted. Again, it's at this point where I kind of think, right, I, I just need to chill. This is my problem in endgame situations and why I don't come through these situations very often. Because I don't chill. So I decide, go back, re-angle your armor max, go slightly more hold down because the turret on this thing as well is very, very nice. Just think about what you're doing. Slow yourself down, and it looks like he's firing HE. And him firing there meant he got spotted. Can I get a shot in? We get a nice shot in. It does high roll, but unfortunately not by enough. And oh, I was half expecting the artillery then to kill him. And he's still spotted. And boom, we finish him off. I was so expecting when I tracked that guy there, the FE-304 to come in and just go, Oh, hi, you're not having your pools medal, not today. And fortunately for me, he did miss, and we picked up the pools medal at the end. That actually ammo racked him, although it's blind, that ammo racked him at the end there. Um, which was quite funny to look at in the post game stats. So I was like, I got the, what is it, the, I can't remember what the medal's called, but the one for ammo racking someone. I was like, what, what does that ammo rack? And then ammo racked him at the end there. Ten kills in the ISM, down to five rounds of ammunition, one APCR and four HE. So it was getting quite, quite close at the end there. My third ever pools medal, the first being after like 4,000 games when I was still a nub in the SU-100 Y on Ensk. Because then, more recently, I got a pools medal in the Emil 2, I can't remember what map it was on, and then this being my third. In three tanks that, like, are not my favourite tank. This thing's good, and I like it, and I feel like some people don't rate it enough. But, it's definitely not my favourite tank. Same with the Emil 2, and same with the SU-100 Y. But I can't do this in what seemed to be my favourite tank, so God knows. But yeah, third ever pulls medal, and I'm very, very happy about that. Let's see if we... Oh, don't do this. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, guys. We're going to take a very quick look at the post-game stats in just a second. But like I said before, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video... Um, I think I made some valid points about the ISM, blah, 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 blah. Please consider giving the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out, and you get to see me, well, not have games as good as this, but suck a lot more, um, especially if you come by and watch my live streams. And yeah, other than that, let's go take ever a quick look at the post-game stats. So there we go guys, that was unsurprisingly an ace tanker, what was the medal called? Demolition Expert, that's the one. We picked up a Pools medal as well, the Pascucci's medal, the Sparta medal for surviving a ricochet or non-penetrating shot from an enemy when you have less than 10% hit points, and we survived a couple of those against the Primo Victoria. Um, we also picked up a Steel Wall medal, a High Caliber medal, and a Top Gun as well. We blocked 2,460 damage with our armor, um, very very nice. Uh, the, actually, we should have blocked more than that, but we took a couple of shots to the track from like the third, third nan and the T34, stuff like that. Uh, that's like I say, we th this was an ammo rack on the Primo Victoria, so it's a shame we didn't get that ammo rack on the, when he was on slightly more hit points, but still made a bit closer at the end. 6,920 damage and 10 kills. Uh, we got, yeah, 6,920 damage, 10 kills, 1,875 damage base XP, which is absolutely crazy. I, I think that was a team carry there, kind of. Um, considering there was only one other person that did more than a thousand damage. And, yeah, 25 shots fired, hit 22, penetrate 22, so nice penetration there, but you'd expect that in a game that was all um, tier 8, 7s and 6s. We still made 19,000 credits profit, even though we had to fire those premium rounds at the end there, because we run out of AP. And the game lasted just over 11 minutes. And this was on a times 3 as well, so I made a juicy amount of XP towards the Object 705A, which I should be getting hold of today. Or by the time you watch this video, I should have the Object 705A. So this is kind of a, a fitting send-off for me for the ISM. And I'm glad I could show you the replay, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like, uh, the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.